something happens no matter who you are, if you're average or if you're good. When you get around greatness and you stay around greatness, you start listening to great podcasts and reading great books and you start hanging around great people and you start becoming a part of great masterminds. Guys, you, you just evolve. And I don't know what happened, but every year I went from a high school dropout and homeless to I started to becoming every single day more of who I am. And I can't believe it. My next goal is to win the Nobel Prize. Success is going to be one of the hardest things that you'll ever try to do in your entire life. Achieving success generally is a lifetime goal and a lifetime journey that you will go through and just constantly gain information and intel years upon years and growing yourself and maturing and learning new abilities to help you along the way to make you successful and continue to keep you being successful and more successful down the line. One of the biggest keys is to make sure that you are consistently working on it because your dreams are your dreams, things that should excite you and things that you should want to work on on a daily basis. You should take no days off and keep doing it. Keep making it happen no matter what other people tell you in your life, no matter how much they slam you or how much they encourage you when you're doing good or bad. You need to make sure that you're focused on you and you know exactly what you need to do. Go out there and do it. Get it done as fast as possible because the less time you take off, the quicker it's going to get done, guaranteed. The more energy you're going to have and you're not going to get stuck being comfortable and stuck not wanting to work if you're constantly working and cranking it out and then you'll see that progress and you'll be excited. You'll be thrilled with yourself about looking at the progress of where you started and where you are and how much ground you've covered with the time that you've put in on to your goals. Yeah, I think for real, man, most of them, you know, and you gotta be humble. Just do what you do. You know, so many people are uh, what I call uh, they're, they're game watching, they're scoreboard watching. Like every play, they're looking up to see where they are. You know, and I mean, you can't, you, you can't scoreboard watch and play the game at the same time. You know, you gotta play the game. You know, they're so worried about, all right, is this gonna be my year? Is this gonna, like they spend so much time concentrating on when the big one is gonna happen mm -hmm. that the big one never happens because you can't, you can't chase two rabbits. If you chase two rabbits, you're not gonna catch either one. Mm -hmm. So for us, it was an accident. It, we, didn't, we didn't plan on doing it. I was in a room going off on a group of students because they had an opportunity of a lifetime and they weren't taking advantage of it. I just feel like your gifts will make room for you. And when you're trying to be somebody else, you, you, you block your gifts. You block your your opportunity so I'm not you don't see me trying to throw a football you don't see me trying to you know put a basketball in, in a hoop you see me speaking mm -hmm. you know you see me serving helping kids get their GD I blew up with a, teaching a GD class that's how I became famous and people always ask me why did you start there because somebody helped me to get my GD mm -hmm. so that's the one thing I had I had knowledge on how to get a GD I didn't know how to do anything else but I had just gotten a GD so I'm like hey I got a GD if I can't do nothing else I can psychologically tell you how to get prepared for a GED and then the GED went to, can you help kids stay in college? So I did that in college. And before you know it, I'm going off on a group of kids and they call it the secret to success video. Because here you are with an opportunity to get a four year degree and you playing and you, you know, you doing partying and doing stuff that maybe other kids have an opportunity to do because they got a net to fall back on. You don't have a net. So man, I went off. So for me, my gift has made room for me. Every time I talk, every time I speak, every time I educate, doors open. So. Man, stop looking at the Jones. The Joneses might be good at what they're doing, or the grass might be green on the other side, but it means somebody's keeping up with it. They watering it, they cutting it. It didn't get green like that on its own. I started getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. It was like, yo, you're going to have to get up a little bit earlier because you didn't finish school. You didn't take care of your business. So you can't get up the same time another man who gets up who handled his business. So you need to get up at 3 if you're going to catch the greats. You got to get up at three. You got to go to bed earlier. This is why I said I never drank or smoked because the men in my life who did it were extremists. I had an uncle who died, cirrhosis of the liver. You know, I had other uncles who drank and, and my father, bless his heart, but he was strung out on drugs for about 14 years. And I was just like, yo, E, it, you can see that they don't know how to do it casually. Like, they ain't social drinkers. Like, they ain't social on something. They taking it to a whole other level. And so for me, it was like, E, you got to discipline yourself. You're not going to die if you never know what alcohol taste like but if you taste it you might have the same experience they had so you just got discipline yourself you know i do vegan most of the time you know what i'm saying and i tell people all the time i love fried chicken i love macaroni and cheese i love a lot of dessert but in my family is diabetes 
So it's like, yo, e, if you do what they do, then you're going to get the results they got. So you, yeah, chicken is good and macaroni and cheese, the way my grandma make it is great. And yes, the pound cake is phenomenal. But if you want to be with Didi for the next 30, 40 years, and you want to be able to walk, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be on the cruise. I was just on the cruise and they, a couple of people, you know, was on the motor scooter, you know what I'm saying? People with the canes and the walkers. And I'm not mad at them, but I'm like, I don't want that. I want to be able to walk at 60, at 70. I want to be independent at 80 if I can be. So I'm going to have to make some sacrifices now Thank you all so much for watching. Please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let us know what you thought down in the comment section below.